Rooftop solar. If you don't have it, you might find a new roadblock when you're trying to get it. Hawaiian Electric issued a letter just last week telling rooftop solar applicants they'll have to wait for approval. KITV4's Andrew Pereira joining us now to explain this solar showdown. Well, Paula and Yunji, uh, critics say that there's no doubt HECO is trying to protect its bottom line ahead of its possible merger with NextEra. Currently, 12% of Hawaiian Electric customers on Oahu have rooftop solar, but that means a whopping 88% don't, and it doesn't look like HECO will be changing that number anytime soon. Quite frankly, I'm not surprised that they'd want to eliminate competition by preventing people from installing solar. Uh, it's what NextEra did in Florida, and this is what we're faced with now. Last week, HECO put the brakes on new hookups, issuing this letter to applicants. The letter states a PV system will not be approved if HECO received the application after October 22nd. It also says applications will be held until the Public Utilities Commission approves a lower buyback rate. That's the price HECO pays to purchase electricity generated by rooftop systems. The Alliance for Solar Choice sent a letter to the PUC Tuesday asking the agency to end HECO's solar roadblock. It's fundamental that, that monopolies can't deny service in order to force changes to happen, and that's exactly what's happening here. HECO says the denial of new PV systems only applies to neighborhoods where 120% of solar capacity has been reached. But in a filing last month with the PUC, the utility admits it's now safe to increase solar capacity to as much as 250%. Critics in the legislature see a clear double standard. Actions speak louder than words, and that's something that we're watching here. Right now, the PV buyback rate for Oahu residents is 29 cents per kilowatt hour. HECO wants to lower that amount to 15 cents. It would really kill solar in Hawaii. It would make it uneconomic and really drive customers to you know, not be able to make that choice. HECO's proposal for a lower payback rate could also impact residents with existing PV systems who want to add a few more panels to their rooftops. It's really unclear, and I think in the absence of clarity, we have to assume that yes, you're going to be stuck under a harsher and less attractive um, system. The Blue Planet Foundation says it's time for state lawmakers and the PUC to step in. The nonprofit is proposing community solar, where someone without a roof could place panels somewhere else and get credit on their electric bill, or perhaps a time of use rate structure. Maybe in the middle of the day when we have a lot of surplus uh, renewable energy, it might be a little bit lower rate. But at night when everyone comes home and turns everything on, energy is more valuable. So we should probably have a little bit of a higher rate then. Some critics say this rec recent move by HECO is another reason why the state should move toward a publicly owned utility. Late today, HECO issued a release claiming the Alliance for Solar Choice mischaracterized its letter. The utility says 548 new solar systems have been approved in recent weeks, and it plans to approve 1,900 more by April. Yanji Paula, we'll send it back to you.